hello Aquarius happy weekend to you it's Saturday morning where I am this is Monica with Pisces moon intuitive Aquarius I hope you're doing great wherever you are you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate first as usual we're going to ask what's coming up for you what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, universe, please step in, share very clear and important messages for the sign of Aquarius, for Aquarius' highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aquarius in their life and how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aquarius in their life? And how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? I feel I need to shuffle more. You've had a very busy week. You know, to show up what's coming up for Aquarius. And how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one over here extra message very important communication information of relevance so something is going to make you happy some kind of communication information important to you coming to you um that's going to make you happy oh boy yeah you are very disappointed in your soulmate very this is how you view them as a matter of fact based on their behavior towards you mm, mm, mm. hot mess yeah my least favorite night of all nights so you made this opinion of them based on their behavior so we make an opinion judgment of someone based on how they behave and how they treat us right yeah so this is how you view them in and out of your life not communicating effectively not expressing emotions not listening not committing in a healthy way not telling you where you stand what to expect and the list goes on you feel drained you feel tired you still love this person you love them but you recognizing that you tired of babysitting this relationship yeah you don't want to babysit that relationship no you're exhausted yeah, this person can be very impulsive when they make decisions. They don't think things through. You are very intuitive. Yes, you are. Listen to your great intuition, Aquarius, because your intuition about people, situations is on point. You read people correctly. Yes, your intuition is on point. You have wisdom. Yeah, universe, please show us what's coming up for Aquarius how is Aquarius currently doing on their soulmate journey you're going to be celebrating some kind of accomplishment at your job or business I'm happy for you you do too much you do too much for people and people get used to it and take advantage and expect that you do too much you need to take care of yourself right now concentrate on yourself love yourself nurture yourself because people like to take 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 from you and they don't reciprocate they view you as strong wise which you are but they understand they think that you always going to fix things for them give them things and fix their life that's not how life works they need to fix their own drama in life right we all have drama but we need to learn from that drama and fix our own lives you cannot be Fixing people's lives, giving them money, uh, babysitting them, right? Yeah. This is you learning, knowing how to say no to people you love, when to practice tough love, when to have healthy boundaries. Yeah. <clears throat> you feel like you need to move on with your life. You don't want to be sitting around waiting for people to grow up. Yeah, you feel betrayed in this relationship because under lovers, we see a serpent, a snake. This is not a good combination because this shows infidelity. You see this? Yeah. Playing around. Mm -hmm. You are protecting your heart. You have a lot of wisdom, Aquarius. Look how beautiful your energy is. So this is you shining at your job. Wherever it is you work, people admire you, need you. Look at this. You are fabulous. 
Your third eye is wide open. You see this? You are very intuitive. Listen to your great intuition. Never ignore it. Oh my goodness. So the people at your job are like this. You see this? All this drama, chaos, gossip, never ending shenanigans. Remember to get, do not get involved in the drama. Don't take sides, stay neutral. Yeah, this is you kind of feeling like you need to connect with nature, higher power. Uh, you know that because you've been disappointed by so many people that you did things for and helped. Uh, you feel like you can only depend on yourself and higher power. This is you looking at the sky, heavens, for signs, for answers. You see this? The answers are within you, Aquarius. You already know what you need to do with each person in your life. Yeah, you already know. Listen to your great intuition, your wisdom. I'm proud of you, Aquarius. How fabulous, resilient, strong you truly are. And you are very psychic, very intuitive. Yeah. Universe, please show us. You know, people think that just because you are wise and intuitive and strong and resilient, they can just drop their drama on your shoulders and you're going to fix their life for them. It's not fair to you. You cannot fix anyone's life. What you can do is advise them uh, how to handle their problems, but you cannot fix anyone's life. Remember that. Don't allow people to drop their uh, self-created drama on your shoulders. Okay, because they're not going to learn their lessons and you're going to be overstressed, overburdened with responsibilities that are not yours. So uh, you need to have healthy boundaries and learn to say no uh, to someone you love that is self-destructive. So when people are self-destructive, always have drama and gossip and, and chaos is showing up in their life. Uh, this is you needing to have healthy boundaries and say no. You can advise them. But you can't really fix their life for them, right? Each individual person is responsible for fixing their issues, right? In life. Universe, please show us. This is you recognizing when to say no. When to uh, practice tough love and say no. Yeah. Be careful because somebody's going to try to reconcile with you. It's fine. Of course, you should make amends with them. Be on peaceful grounds. But... Uh, to gain your trust again, they need to earn it through consistent actions, not just pretty words and promises. Yeah, you feel unhappy, unappreciated, emotionally unfulfilled. You feel like you need to walk away from certain people for good. You feel drained. You're going to be making some important decisions, changes in your life. Yeah, the person you've been dealing with loves you a lot, but they don't show up as mature. They're showing up twice already as a knight. Knight of uh, wands and knight of cups. Knights don't know how to be consistent, how to be dependable, reliable. They don't know. It's something they're going to have to learn that they should have learned already. Let's see what's going on with that person. Universe, please show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Aquarius that Aquarius has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, they realize they didn't put work into this. They want so badly to reconcile with you. So I have to give them some credit. They, they see clearly the mistakes were made and they want to meet you halfway. The question is, will they? Because sometimes wanting and doing could be two opposite things. So um, from wanting, they need to take charge and prove themselves to you through actions that they are consistent in your life, dependable. See, this person has a lot of emotional baggage from past failed relationships that they need to address, work on, heal from, forgive. Yeah, it's weighing heavily on them. Ooh, I didn't expect to see this. Here is the worst card in the whole deck. Three of Swords, Heartbreak. And it's very symbolic, the way it's painted. Here is them with tear rolling down their cheek, hand over their mouth. This is symbolic. It means they don't want you to know how deeply heartbroken, devastated they are over losing you. They feel a difference in your behavior towards them. This is how they view you with... Um, 
great disappointment on your face, walking away from them with your back turned towards them. They feel they lost you for good. When you add these swords, it becomes nine of swords, which means they feel a lot of guilt, regret for losing you. This person loves you a lot. They really do. But they need to address their behavior. Yeah, if they want to gain your trust again. Yeah, there's something they're hiding from you. Yeah, something you uh, need to know to understand them better. Maybe this person is embarrassed or maybe they feel it doesn't concern you. Of course, it concerns you. People need to learn that secrets destroy relationships of all sorts. Secrets do not belong in any relationships. Sooner or later, they come out, right? Yeah. Wow. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aquarius? This is them preparing themselves for communication with you. They know they're going to have to be very strong, brave to approach you. They realize they lost you at the end of a relationship. They realize they lost you. Oh, I don't like this because this means lies, betrayal, deception. Be careful because this person... Uh, is capable of convincing you of something that is not true just to gain your trust again so you let them slide back into your life be careful yeah you cannot go by their words you have to ultimately go by their actions long term over time to see how consistent dependable trustworthy they are this person is very scared that it's over that you made up your mind already they also concerned that there are people in your life who don't want to see them back in your life again yeah this concerns me yeah universe please show us what's going on currently with that summit of aquarius look how much respect they have for you how much they love you you are showing up here this is how they view you you showing up here as my favorite queen of all queens queen of pentacles with your third eye wide open intuitive solid beautiful they need to learn how to communicate effectively, how to initiate communication, how to listen, how to express emotions. They need to learn all that. Yeah, they're in love with you. That's what they're hiding from you the most, how much they need you, want you back, how much they miss you. You see, they need to learn how to express those emotions, how to be emotionally vulnerable. Look how fabulous you are, Aquarius. You are fabulous. Look at this. So they have wisdom. They realize your worth value, how much you mean to them, how fabulous you are. Empress and queen of pentacles. They realize your worth value. Yeah, they realize that they can't just come to you with pretty words, promises. They need to prove themselves to you through actions that are consistent, believable over time, right? And was please show us. I'm so proud of you, Aquarius, how well you're doing for yourself, how resilient you are. Look how devastated, heartbroken they are. Again, for the second time, three of swords, the worst card in the whole deck, heartbreak. This person is absolutely devastated, heartbroken, but they're very good at hiding their emotions, not showing that they are emotionally vulnerable, that they are heartbroken. They're really good at hiding their feelings from others. They are planning to come back to you with solid offer. But what concerns me is that for the third time, they're showing up as a knight. This time, knight of pentacles. They're very slow to action. They need to be a king or queen to be able to prove themselves to you. Knights don't know how to be consistent in someone's life. They just come and go. However, knight of pentacles is the only knight that I truly trust especially in love readings, because Knight of Pentacles, unlike other Knights, means they do have some solid intentions, good intentions, but they need to work on themselves to be able to prove themselves to you through actions. They realize how important you are to them. You see this? They realize you are the one. Look how stressed out they are. This person is in love with you. They really are. They didn't mean to hurt you. No, this person really cares for you deeply, genuinely. Aquarius, I'm sending you all the best. Lots of love, big hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Please enjoy your weekend. Love you guys.